This week's We're Open takes us to Katie Fong, the boutique in Greenwich. When the pandemic hit, uh, the designer of bridal and custom clothing had to temporarily close her doors. But she's back open and dressing women in style. I've always wanted everyone walking into a store to feel welcomed. One of the first comments I hear is that it's, it's pretty, it's homey, it's comfortable, it's not too intimidating. We are in Greenwich, Connecticut, and we're in Katie Fong the Boutique. Um, here we carry my collection of um, made-to-order women's wear, as well as accessories, jewelry, um, cashmere, and face masks. My favorite dress has to be the Anna Mia dress. Um, it's a classic sheath gown in a four-ply crepe. Silk. It's a classic. It's timeless, and I've dressed, oh my gosh, so many sizes from like a triple zero to like a size 26 in this silhouette. It literally looks good on everybody. Closing was, it was difficult, um, especially since I have a, a two-year-old son at home. Um, not being able to interact with customers. Um, so much about what I love about my business is interacting with customers, um, curating these just amazing friendships. Um, and the energy in the shop, the hustle and bustle to, like in our studio with my seamstress and my assistant and my interns, it's, it's so much fun. Um, and that missing that was probably the hardest part. While we were closed, I had several of my customers reach out to me saying, hey, are you making face masks? And I'm like, oh my gosh, face masks. I haven't even thought about that. And that was before we even knew that they were needed and that they made a difference. So my my father actually suggested shirting cottons because they look nice and they're nicer than just quilting cottons or anything like that. We actually, over the two months, made 4,000 masks. I think a lot of my emotion was really just um, a lot of unknown, but I also do feel as a business owner and as an entrepreneur, that's kind of just part of the process. It's constant problem solving and figuring out how to make things better and what to make of a situation. My grandfather came here in, I believe, the, the 50s, and he opened up Thomas Cleaners, which is actually right next door to my boutique. Um, and he also went into real estate in town. My father eventually took over the cleaners, and my family has been very involved in town. Um, and I feel very fortunate to have this location right here and continue a family tradition. Well, we have a link to Fong's website on our website, news12.com, as well as the News 12 app.